So, covered in blood, sweat, but more importantly, victory. You've got Cameron Stevenson, the winner from the Ring One bout, the Zambian Scottish mix, who models himself on Prince Nassim Hamid. Yeah? How was the footwork out there? Third, third round, the footwork was gone. Yeah. I was completely kicked, had nothing left. I was just going to do my best to survive. But I'd like to think in the first few rounds, I emulated the king or the Prince Nassim Hamid. Yeah, what was, what was your entrance like? Magic carpet? Bone dogs in harmony. Thug love, gunshots, came out beating my chest. Gave it to the crowd a little bit, gave the girl one girl a pound. Yeah. And I realised when the fight got started how serious it was. We did okay. So a bit of a showman and enjoying, you know, what's on offer here with the crowd, the lights and everything. I didn't think I would, but the whole occasion got the better of me. You only did it once, so I had to look good. have to had to give it a little bit of something. Really soak it up and enjoy it. But what about what about the fight itself? You said you're good in the first two, you began to flag a bit in the third. I thought I was a little bit fitter, but again the occasion got the better of me. And I was on the ropes for a little bit, he was catching me like five, six shots in a row. And I thought I might lose it, but my first couple of rounds then got me through, dragged me through in the end. He was a good fighter. How good is all that training culminating in a fight? Because you said you felt you were fit, but you don't know what it's like until you're really out there in the mix. It feels amazing. You realise just all the training throughout those 12 weeks. When you get into a situation like that, that's when it digs you out. And that's when you realise what we've been through. On a Saturday morning for 10, 11 weeks, it was all worth it. So you're a white collar boxing London first timer. What, come closer to me. Gosh, so much energy in him. He's roaming around the floor. What's your biggest takeaway from the whole experience? Biggest takeaway? It's the discipline. It gives you a sense of you've got to stick to it because there's a bit of fear factor and then that kind of motivates you. But then once you, you do all your planks, two minutes, three minutes, do all your punching, you do all the abs after the sessions, it gives you a good sense of discipline. Yeah, and that discipline, is that leaked into other aspects of your life, you know, like work, personal life? I'd like to think so. I'm on time for work more often now. Before I was always a quarter past nine, man. Now I'm a five to nine, man. My goodness, not just doing the magic on the ring, doing it in the workplace. Well, Cameron, worthy champ. Congratulations, you don't have your trophy on you, but let's have a boxing pose for the, for the fans. Here you go. Savor the moment.